83 miles per hour. So we got the wood grain, black sheep. We're gonna put it on the uh, pocket radar and we're gonna see what the exit velos for it are and you know, take some cuts off of the tee and then maybe do some live BP from the, uh, the pop toss and see what this bat can really do. See if it matches up with all the other black sheeps and for, uh, for my gamer black sheep. Fifty-four miles per hour. Eighty miles per hour. Eighty miles per hour. Eighty-three miles per hour. Eighty-three. Right at the third swing out of the wrapper. Seventy-six miles per hour. Those are probably three of the longest shots that I've had all day, right out of the wrapper from the black sheep. Just something different with these black sheep. 79 miles per hour. Eighty-four miles per hour. Eighty miles per hour. Seventy-four miles per hour. tell you what <laughs> I really like the black sheep I mean the swing is just amazing you know through the zone that perfect amount of end load that you need to really cut the ball and it definitely definitely helps you get through that zone a little better I mean I really love the feel of a mid load bat from Monsta but their end loaded stuff with the black sheep the torch juice are definitely, definitely one of my favorite bats to swing. Eighty three miles per hour. Seventy nine miles per hour. I mean, I don't think there's a better better bat out there than this M2 Tech from Monsta. I honestly don't believe it. I, don't, I haven't seen anything that really shows me that it can top an M2 bat from Monsta. I mean, I, I tried it with the Anarchies, uh, Easton, Mike in, Worth, all the, all the different bat companies and nobody's really come into the ASA space with anything that really tops this. I mean, everybody's a little disheartened that they're discontinuing the M2 tech from Monsta, but they have an M5 tech, which you've seen out of the DNA Legacy, the Flip Money, and a bunch more to come. So I think that the M5 tech, which is very similar to this, they're in development of a M5 Torch and M5 Sinister and those are two of my favorite bats from Monsta. So when they come out with a, uh, I believe the DB44 is an M5 that has a half ounce weighting. So if that is an end loaded half ounce weighting, I would definitely jump on that guys because I feel like it's gonna be the same feel as a black sheep. So keep your eyes out for one of those if you can get a hold of it. I believe that was from uh, All American Athletics, so. 
uh, definitely try to get your hands on one of those. Eighty five miles per hour. Eighty two miles per hour. Eighty seven miles per hour. Seventy seven miles per hour. Eighty three miles per hour. Eighty one miles per hour. Eighty four miles per hour. you can probably still pick them up for like 265 you know maybe maybe if you get lucky 250 so uh definitely try to get your hands on one of these really cool looking i mean that that paint job is just spot on uh if you can't get a hold of one of these or maybe you like the mid load better you're a torch guy or you're a sinister guy they have the wood grains in those two, you can also get a wood grain sinister or wood grain torch. There's two wood grain torches that you can order right now, one from EHP and one from Monsta. So definitely try to pick one of those up if you can. But if you can't get one of those and you prefer something that has a little end load, definitely go with this bat. Seventy nine miles per hour. <laughs> I mean, off of the tee. I mean, I haven't hit a shot like that, you know, all day. Uh, I did some KP 23s before this, a bunch of other bats. And uh, honestly, even with my my gamer, I haven't hit the ball that well. So definitely going to do some pop toss now and see if that doesn't give me uh, some really good results with this bat. 56 miles per hour. 49 miles per hour. 51 miles per hour. 55 miles per hour. All right, guys. So first impressions of the Monster Black Sheep, the M2 Tech, uh, the wood grain paint on there. Uh, definitely really like this bat. Um, I have the Candy Special Edition Black Sheep as well. Uh, really like this bat too. Uh, my other video that I did on this, it definitely uh, 
had great performance. I love the way that it had felt through the zone. You know, when it contacts the ball, I don't think there's another bat out there that really tops it. I mean, the question from a lot of guys is, you know, why the black sheep, you know, isn't as liked as the sinister or the torch. And I can tell you that uh, in the swing, yes, you might get more power out of this bat and performance when you connect if you're a really good power hitter. And some guys that are just used to that end loaded feel, it really helps them. But when you want to control a bat through the zone, you're not going to find a better bat than the Sinister or the Torch. But if you are a guy that has incredible bat control, you got control of the head of that bat so well, really fast hands, power hitter, pick up a black sheep. I mean, when, once you pick up this bat, you will not swing an Anarchy, a KP-23, a Creature. I, I just don't think there's another bat for a guy that likes an end loaded field bat that is better than this bat, honestly. I mean, you, you can try and say that, you know, the Anarchies, once you put 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 swings on them with their X-Core stuff, that it's gonna swing better. But, you know, it. <laughs> In my opinion, you know, even with the OG Rebby with, you know, a thousand plus swings on it, it just doesn't get there like a black sheep will. So, I mean, it's, it is a preference thing, but if you can get one of these wood grain black sheeps or the candy black sheep, all right, that special edition, I mean, these bats, they may not be the coolest paint job for most of you guys. Okay, then get a black sheep repaint. But the performance on these bats are just as good, if not better than any other repaint. You can, you can say, oh, the OG black sheep is better, or, you know, this, this black sheep looks better because, you know, it has a really cool paint job on it. But I think this paint job here with the wood grain and these special edition candy paint are really good looking bats and the performance is insane. So go out and get a black sheep if you can get a hold of one. If you're a balanced guy too, like if you like that more balanced, lighter feel to a bat for control, then there's a balanced version of the black sheep. I mean, <laughs> I mean there is an option for just about every hitter when it comes to the black sheep and it is probably the most versatile bat from Monsta. I mean, <laughs> what else can I say? Just uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you're getting notifications about all the new videos. Uh, try to get videos coming out weekly, uh, if not, you know, more <laughs> sooner than weekly. You know, bi-weekly if I can. So uh, thank you guys.